There are many design elements you can add to your HTML documents using CSS, also known as cascading style sheets. This video will show you how to adjust the font style of the text on your HTML document. You know, if you want it to be shown in italics or just the normal style. Different font styles might come in handy if, say, you wanted to have a group of text or a paragraph stand out. Like, for example, you've got a quote in there somewhere. Here, let's take a look at an example in our editor. Now, here in my editor, this is a Komodo editor, by the way. I've got my content down here in the body section, and I've already got some style set up here in the head section between the opening and the closing style tags. And I've got the styles already added down here in the content area. Like, for example, under H2, I'm using the h2.italic class, and it is going to be, you got it, styled italics. And I've got the first paragraph styled with italics, and the second paragraph styled with oblique to demonstrate these two different types of style. And I've got them set up here in the normal CSS syntax, where we've got the name of the selector, then we've got the space, and then the opening curly brackets, then the property and value. In this case, the property is font-style, and then we've got the colon, then the value. In this top example, it's normal, then italic, then oblique, and then italic for the h2.italic class. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in our Komodo browser. And here we go. Now there's no styling in the h1 tag content right here, so that's just normal. Now in this first h2 tag, we've got that styled as italic, and then the second H2 tag, no additional styling whatsoever. That's why it looks just normal. So let's take a look at the difference between italic and oblique. That's the first paragraph is italic, as you can see here, and the second paragraph is oblique, as you can see here, as defined by this particular class. Now, you can look very, very close here and still not see a difference, because there really is no difference. Technically, there is a difference. Just like technically there is a difference between stereophonic sound and quadraphonic sound, only most of us normal people cannot hear the difference between a stereophonic sound and a quadraphonic sound, but yes, there is a technical difference between the two. Now, that's styling the different blocks. What if you wanted to style just a, a few words or a sentence or even a single word within these blocks. Well, that's where an inline CSS style would come into play, and we would use the span tag. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's say that right here, this entire block is italicized, but we want to use the normal style on lorem ipsum right here, which in the first paragraph is right here. So in this case, we want to put in the opening span tag, then space, then the style attribute, equals, throw in a couple of double quotes, and in between those double quotes, we're going to put the font dash style colon italic, just like we have it up here in the style section here. And I'm just going to cheat a little bit and just copy this right out of here, and come on down here, and paste it right in between those double quotes, thusly, and let's go ahead and save this, and remember it's right here, the lorem ipsum that we're going to be normalizing. And there we go. Okay, so there's a reason behind using the normal style. That's how you can add font style to a small group of words or a single word within a block of text. And this brings us to the end of this video on using CSS to style the text on your HTML document.